feel like they might have spawned me in the wrong area, but no matter, the show must go on. So I want to address a question I've received a few times, which is this. What's the difference between the empty set and this, the set containing the empty set? Now, note here I'm gonna mix in the empty set notation where we have the zero and a line through it, as well as the empty brackets. If you just use the empty brackets over and over again, it gets a little bit monotonous. So, as far as the difference between the empty set and the set containing the empty set, I at times get a little confused about where this question is coming from, because this is a set and this is just a different set, right? So what's the difference? I think the confusion comes from too strong of a focus on the analogy of the empty set with zero. There are some similarities when we talk about set union and set intersection. It's kind of like adding and multiplying by zero, but you have to know where to draw the line, and this is a pretty good place to draw the line. The empty set versus the set containing the empty set, the difference is actually quite stark. What's the cardinality of the empty set? Well, it's empty, so that would be zero. It has no elements. On the other hand, the set containing the empty set, quite a big difference. What's the cardinality of that bad boy? Well, it has one element, and there's, there's the big thing, right? The empty set is a thing. It's not nothing. It's not like you're just adding nothing to this set when you include the empty set in it. The empty set is an element. So the cardinality of this set is one. It has one element, the empty set. The empty set is a perfectly valid element. Another question we might ask is, how do the power sets of these things compare? Well, some of you might be way ahead of me. What's the power set of the empty set? It's that guy. The power set of the empty set is the set containing the empty set, which is pretty cool. And then if we want to go into this possibly endless torture, we can consider the power set of this. Since this is the power set of the empty set, the power set of this is the power set of the power set of the empty set. That just contains all of the subsets of this. So what is that set? Well, that set contains the empty set because the empty set is a subset of this, but the empty set is also an element of this. So another one of its subsets is the set containing the empty set, which is of course itself. Since every set is a subset of itself, you shouldn't be too surprised to see that guy there. So that's the difference between the empty set and the set containing the empty set. The empty set has no elements. It's an empty set. The set containing the empty set does contain something. It contains the empty set, which isn't nothing. So I hope that helps, and thanks for watching.